of self than to accept that one of your very own born of this nation shaped by this nation adding to this nation bringing honor to this nation that that person should be elected here today like the leader of the opposition I take pride in the fact that it is a woman of the soil to whom this honor is being given and conferred by the members of both houses of parliament like the leader of the opposition I know only too well the journey that it has taken for women to come to any position that they did not hold before and the extent to which it has been the subject of all kinds of difficulties and regrettably in some instances misogyny I know only too well that those of us for whom that honor is given come not to be the first ever but come to ensure that we will never be the last. And Mr. Speaker, I believe that that is the position of the person whom we have now elected as our first woman president, but also our first president of this nation, Barbados. And, and sir, at 55 years old, we are very clear as a government that if we could not be caught loitering on colonial premises in 1966, there is no way that in the third decade of the 21st century, we should have the decisions of this parliament or the executive of this nation be ultimately signed off on by those who are not born of here who do not live here and who do not appreciate the daily realities of those who live here. And Mr. Speaker, that is not meant to be a statement of condemnation of anyone. In fact, we look forward to continuing the relationship with the British monarch, but we are conscious that after 396 years of British rule, and probably just over 386 years of British monarchical rule, taking into account the break that took place in the 17th century because of Oliver Cromwell, that the time has come for us to express the full confidence in ourselves as a people and to believe that it is possible for one born of this nation to sign off finally and completely. And Mr. Speaker, you know, COVID has a way of laying bare all that we face. And in the last 20 months, if you ever doubted that Barbados was alone in this world, you saw the full...